Hi friends, it's Miss Mandy from the Rice Lake Public Library. How are you today? Uh, thanks for joining me again for another fun experiment. We're gonna do an experiment and then stick around at the end for a silly joke. Um, first things first, I'm gonna give you a list of supplies you need to join us for our experiment today. We'll need a bowl or a pan. A clear one kind of works best for seeing things, but anything you have should work. We need some milk, doesn't matter what kind. Can be skim, 2%, whole, whatever you have. Um, food coloring works best if you don't have food coloring. Liquid watercolor paints would work also. Uh, you need some liquid soap, not preferably not antibacterial. Um, something like Dawn dish soap would work the best, some sort of liquid soap that's not antibacterial. And then last, we need a toothpick. Um, if you don't have a toothpick, then a Q-tip would work, but a toothpick seems to work the best. So that is a list of supplies you will need. Go ahead and pause the video to collect your supplies if you need to otherwise oh and most importantly you need grown-ups approval so make sure you ask your grown-up if it's okay to play along with us um, if so grab these items and we'll go ahead and get started on our experiment today what we're doing today is called magic milk um, so what we're going to do we're going to take our bowl whatever kind of bowl you have we're going to put a thin layer of milk it doesn't have to be a ton of milk just needs to cover the bottom of your pan or bowl or whatever you're using um, there we go, I've got a nice cover of milk on the bottom of my of my baking dish here. Next, we're gonna use our food colors. So, we're gonna just put different drops of color all over our milk. No specific order, they don't have to be in any, any certain places, just wherever you want. Just put different colors all over your milk. All right, go ahead and once you've got that, We'll stop here. I think that'll be our last one. Perfect. So we've got our milk. We've got our food color in our milk. Next, we grab our soap. I've put my soap in a little dish here just for easier access. You grab your toothpick. Make sure and if you don't have a toothpick, a Q-tip will work, like I said. Make sure there's soap on the end of your toothpick. And then you're going to stick your toothpick in your different colored uh, dots of food coloring. And look what happens. It's magic milk. We're getting fireworks in our milk. How cool is that? Super cool. So you can do this over and over and over again and see what kind of designs and shapes happen when you stick that soap into your milk and food coloring mixture here. Awesome. And it keeps going and it keeps going and it's so fun. So I hope you're doing that with us and getting lots of fun different designs. Um, just want to talk about the fact that with this kind of science, um, what we're doing is we're looking for the process. We're not looking for the end result. We want to see what's happening as it's happening. We're kind of testing, we're creating, we're mixing, we're just kind of having fun with this experiment. Um, and the end result isn't important in this case, which is okay. We're, we don't always have to look for the end result. We can just look at what's happening as we're doing this experiment. Um, so without going too deep into the science, basically what we're doing is we're disrupting the surface tension of our milk here. We're taking that soap and when we stick it in the milk in our colors, we're disrupting the surface tension, which is what keeps the milk molecules together. And it makes these super cool designs. And as you can see, it just keeps going and going and going. So this is something you can sit and do for quite some time um, and just kind of see what kind of magic you can make in your milk at any given time. Um, as with science, this is just one way to do this experiment. What we've done, we've used 2% milk and we've made these awesome designs and we can continue to do so. Um, something fun to think about, if you have other kinds of milk at home, say you have skim milk and whole milk, you could try it with two different kinds of milk and see how they differ because they're obviously different textures, different thicknesses, and you might get different results. That's called a hypothesis. You would guess what's gonna happen here versus here. Um, if you had heavy, heavy whipping cream or if you wanted to try it with water, you could try different ways of doing this experiment and, and decide you know, what you think is gonna happen each time. As you can see, I can keep doing it and get different results. And if you use your imagination, you can almost see the firework effect. You can almost see what happens on the 4th of July when we shoot off fireworks. You get all those bursts of color, different fun things happening here. So um, that was our experiment for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some cool results in your bowl and hope you were able to see some magic happen while you did that. Um, I'm really trying hard to find experiments that I think are a little on the easier side that are not too heavy with the supplies. Hopefully you have those at home. Um, so I hope you were able to play along with us. I hope you had some fun. I hope you learned something and I hope you'll join us again next time. Um, but before we go, we're going to do our silly joke for the day because that's always fun. So here we go. Greatest Goofiest Jokes by Terry Pierce, illustrated by Buck Jones. Here's your silly joke for the day. Be sure to share this with your families and friends. 
Um, how do you fix a broken duck? Any ideas? I'm sure someone out there knows the answer to this. How do you fix a broken duck? With duct tape. All right, friends, that was your silly joke for today. Hope you enjoyed your experiment and we'll see you next time.